Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of water splash simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button, do share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short radio simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 3.4, nice. So first let's select this camera and light in the scene and delete them. So let's use this cube. So select the cube, press S and increase the scaling here. Press 1 on the keyboard for front view. So let's place this just about to the grid. So select the cube, Z, Z and placing just about to the grid here. Nice. So I think we need to increase the scaling width. So select the cube once again, press S, Shift Z and increase the scaling along X and Y except in Z axis. Nice. So now select the cube, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode or else you can directly go to this option and change it to edit mode. Select this face selection and select this above face. Press E on the keyboard to extrude and S to scale inward. So here we can do the scaling like this. So press E, Z and extrude it like this. So downward. Let's enable this extra vision. So still we can do that. So Z, Z and so I think this must step this point. Disable this extra vision. So here we got the tank ready. So now let's create our fluid. So further go to this add mesh here. You can select any of the object. So again I'll be selecting this cube only. So Z, Z. So here we got the cube right. So here I will increase the scaling once again. So press S and increase the scaling. And let's reduce the scaling in Z axis. And S hold shift Z and increase the scaling in Z axis. So this is the emitter for our fluid and I will place this just below or near to this surface so that it won't create much splashes so I think this is fine now being selected this go to this object quick effects and select this quick liquid so here you can see we got our fluid created so we got a bonding box also which is called as domain so any simulations which are going to happen will take place inside this domain only so we need to make this scene fit into the domain so select the domain make sure this domain is selected press s and increase the scaling and press one for front view s z and increase the scaling in z axis and let's place this here and let's check this okay so we got our tank in this domain so make sure the complete screen will be inside the domain only. Nice. So first let's go through this domain settings and later we can go through this cube settings which will be the main source for our liquid. So select the domain, come to this physics property. So flow type, let it be domain only. So domain type, let it be liquid. Resolution, I will change this to 64 for time being. Later I will increase the resolution when everything is done. And scroll down here this border collisions name itself indicates these are the collisions so if you don't want the water to collide with these boundaries we can disable this so I will disable all these front back right left top except this bottom and now come to this liquid simulation let it be flip so this flip ratio indicates the value how much this water is going to splash so if this value is less, the water will not splash much. So if you are close to one, the splash will be, the splash effect will be more. So here I am changing this to 0.99. So I want the splash to be more. And just scroll down, enable this mesh option. So that will get mesh created, not only the particles. So make sure this mesh is enabled. So here we need to select a folder where we can save the catchy data. So here I will select a folder quickly. So I have selected a folder where I can save this cache data. So frame start and end. So here I want the simulation to be a bit longer. So I'll change this to 350 frames. 
and make sure the timeline is changed to 350 and type change it to modular or all so if you're not changing this to all we won't get this big option so make sure this type is changed to modular or all so if you have selected all we can click on this ease resumable option this means we can stop the bake at any moment that means we can pass the bake and we can continue it later so enable this option also so now the domain settings are set so this is going to be the fluid emitter right so select that cube come to this physics property type let it be flow only so flow type change it to liquid and flow behavior change it to inflow so by default this is set to geometry that means we will get this geometry of liquid only getting dropped out so here i want to have this flow continuously throughout some period of time so for that i will change this to inflow option so as soon as i change this to inflow we will get this use flow option right this means if this is enabled we will get the liquid flowing throughout the timeline so here i don't want that so beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this use flow option by clicking on the dot so here i want this flow to be till 120 frames so i will move or else let me select 150 frames add a keyframe now so till 150 frames i will get the liquid here so move one frame forward so now we are at 151 frames right disable this use flow option and add a keyframe so till 150 frames we will get liquid from this mesh after that we won't get the liquid flow so now let's here bake this simulation so in order to get this water splash simulations we need to work on two simulations one is fluid simulation and one is rigid body simulation first let's deal with fluid simulations and later let's move on to rigid body to get the splash effect so as to avoid confusion so here our fluid simulation settings are done now select the domain scroll down and just click on this bake all button so here the bake is done and now if i play this we can see we got the simulation correctly but the water is not staying inside this tank so in order to make this fluid stay inside this tank we need to add fluid property onto this tank also so i'll show you how to do that so before doing that let's free the bake so make sure this domain is selected and click on this free all button now select this tank apply fluid and type change it to effector so effector type set it to be collision if you want to increase this sampling count you can do that so i will increase this to one and now let's bake this once again so in order to bake this once again select the domain scroll down and click on this bake all button so now the bake is done and let's check the preview so now we got this liquid staying inside this container so now in order to get that splash effect we need to use rigid body physics so let's move on to that property here so let's check at what frame this water body or this fluid stays calm so i think till 150 frames the liquid will be flowing from that mesh right so at 190 frame i will make an object to fall from certain distance or certain height so let's add an object so go to this add mesh again i will use the cube you can use any of the object you like let's place it here press s s uh, and s shift z and increase the scaling here press 7 for top view let's move to the solid viewport and uh, disable extra vision and s z so i think this much is fine so let's add rigid body so make sure this object is selected come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active mass i will change this to 10 kg so Russian dollar will leave like that only but we need to change some settings here first let's see what will happen with these settings so if i play this now you can see the cube will be falling from the starting frame which we don't want we want the cubes to be starting from 175 frame right and also it is passing through this container so let's fix that first so select this mesh or container add rigid body for this also so add rigid body but type change it to passive so if i play this now 
staying at the top so again move on to the static frame select this container here we need to change this shape option so come to this collisions shape change it to box since this is box i will change this to box or else if you got an organic object like a human character skull flower or anything like that you can change this to mesh or else i will change this to mesh only and let's check this so let's play this now once again so here the cube is falling down and let's check whether it falls through the container now you can see it is falling through the container and it is bouncing too much so again being selected this one come to this surface response and increase this friction value to 0.8 so as to reduce the friction nice so we have added rigid body physics for this uh, cube and in order to make this cube interact with the fluid we need to add a fluid property for this cube also so i think you have remembered we have added effector property for this tank right after adding that property only the water is staying inside this tank so in the same way we need to add the same property for this cube also so select the cube add fluid scroll down and type change it to effector so effector type let it be collision subsampling if you want to increase you can increase that i will make it one so here we have added that effector property rigid property onto this cube but we need to make this cube fall from 175th frame so let's do that so be on the first frame so being selected this cube come to the rigid body properties here and here we can see this dynamic property right disable this one and add a keyframe make sure to add a keyframe so move forward in timeline till where you want to make the object stay in that position so till 170 or else till 200 frame I want the object to be in that position only so be at that frame add a keyframe for this dynamic option and make sure it is unchecked so after 200 frames I want this object to be falling down that means we want the rigid body properties acted on this cube after 200 frames so move one frame forward at 201 frame enable this dynamic property which enables rigid body physics on the cube and add a keyframe make sure you add a keyframe this so now if i play this this cube will be staying in its position till 200 frames and after 200 frames it starts to fall down let's check that so here you can see it is falling down but it will stop at 250 frames let me show you that also you can see it has stopped falling down at 250 frames because we have not set the keyframe value to 350 I think you have remembered for fluid simulation, we have set the keyframes for 1 to 350, right? In the same way, we need to set the keyframes for rigid body physics also. So select this cube, come to the scene properties, click on the scene properties here. Come to this rigid body world, drop down. Here we will get this catchy option, drop down. And here we need to change the simulation frames. So my timeline is of 350 frames, so I will change this to 350. So make sure this fluid simulation and rigid body simulations are on the same frame value. So now we can bake this completely and we will get the splash effect. So make sure effector value is added to this cube in order to get the splash effect or else the cube will not interact with the fluid even though it is baked. So first we need to unbake this thing so select this liquid domain we have baked the simulation right first unbake this one so select the domain we need to release the bake so come to this physics property scroll down and click on this free all so now the bake is released and i will increase this resolution to 128 so depending upon the system capacity you can increase this value 128 will take much more time to bake and also to render so once everything is set just click on this bake button so once the bake is done we can hide out this emitting or this cube which will be emptying the liquid in renders if you don't want to have this emitter in render select that object come to this object properties 
feasibility and uncheck in render so i think this is all for this thing i will start to bring the simulation and this may take maybe approximately one hour so after baking that we'll get that splash effect clearly so let's come to this physics property and bake it click on this bake all nice so in this way we can create this kind of water splash simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye